This video is in the population unit and we're looking at population dynamics and the difference between exponential growth and logistic growth and how this applies to human populations and demographics and how we can use this graph to really establish how populations grow and what slows down population and the reasons for this include limiting factors and the resistance of the environment. This is the Earth Science Classroom. So a large part of environmental science is ecology and part of that is populations in general and how populations of species is going to act and react based on environments and how they grow in population and what's going to limit the population based on the environment. So we can apply this to humans and how humans have grown population across the planet over the past 300,000 years and more particular in more detail the, the last 20,000 years since the establishment or growth of agriculture, irrigation, and producing more f food and increasing yield of that food. So when discussing populations, you can discuss two types of population growth in a species, on animals, or in particular humans. Now the two types are either the exponential growth, which is the J curve, or the, the logistic growth, which is the S curve. Now the J curve is named J curve based on the shape of the curve, looks like a J, in the alphabet and S looks like an S in the alphabet so very simply the S curve and J curve and these two population growths uh, differ based on the speed at which they grow in population with a number of individuals over a certain period of time and also looking at what creates these population growths and these different curves. So the characteristics of an exponential growth curve is the fact that there is no limiting factors. The population grows in an ideal environment with ideal conditions over time, whereby as population gets bigger, it increases faster. So the more animals there are, the more reproduction there is, and the faster the population grows and more births, less deaths because there's ideal conditions and population grows exponentially, which means very, very fast or faster as it gets bigger compared to the S-curve or logistic growth, which is a different speed of growth. It is in three different parts. The first part is a slow growth. The second part is a slightly exponential, but definitely faster growth. And then the third part is where it tailors off at the top of the curve and slows down. As population increases, it starts to slow down to become an equilibrium or stable or zero growth rate, whereas the number of births equal number of deaths, and there is an equilibrium within the population and the environment that is created. This equilibrium is called the carrying capacity, or K. The carrying capacity is linked to the limiting factors, which will slow down the growth of population, which will create this S-curve or logistic growth. So limiting factors are basically something that is going to prevent continuous growth of a population in a certain area over a certain time. Now this includes both abiotic and biotic factors. Now abiotic factors, a little ecology review, is non-living, so rocks and water and soil and land, landscapes, terrain, climate. And then biotic factors are the living organic factors, which is food sources, predation, survivorship, reproductive rates, R versus K species. And limited factors will be an array or a variety of various generic factors or more detailed or more re relating to human population itself. So the general ones are space and land and competition based on predators, the available reproductive ability, the food source, the shelter, the breeding habits of that species, a K or R species again, the survivorship and also the availability of water and energy. So as mentioned before, the J curve will have very little if zero limiting factors enabling this fast exponential growth. The S curve or logistic growth will have or experience multiple limiting factors applying on this population growth at a certain time and slow down this growth. Now the biotic potential is the difference between the exponential growth and S-curve or logistic growth. 
and the environment will set a level of resistance, which is basically another word for limiting factors. And this can change and fluctuate based on time, based on location, and based on the species. Some species are better equipped at adapting to an environment and overcoming certain limiting factors that the environment presents. For example, humans. We invented clothes to maintain our body temperature in certain climates. We invented umbrellas to block the rain. We invented shelters and central heating and air conditioning to regulate temperature inside the shelters or, d or dwellings. We invented transportation. We invented energy sources to produce more power and also transportation. We invented medicine and penicillin, for example, all these different advances both with medical and social technological advances all allowed humans to overcome certain limiting factors that the environment would present or presents that other animals could not get over. So is there a carrying capacity or limit to a human population number on this planet? Now, some experts say it's 6 billion, some say it's 7 billion, some say we haven't met the carrying capacity yet, and we're currently at 8 billion people. But the question is, what is defined as population growth? What's defined as a level of standard of living? What is defined as a capacity to what humans have limit by all these questions are still kind of in debate and under research of what the human race can do with the earth with the resources with the land provided with these limiting factors and also with a growing population thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it if you like it please subscribe and hit the like button and if you like more on this content please check out my channel which has all these videos on earth science